Well, it is hard to find a bad burger in Minnesota, but what can be difficult is to find one that's healthy and environmentally friendly. The Blended Burger Project is a movement that strives to make burgers better by blending ground meat with chopped mushrooms and creating a patty that's healthier and more sustainable for the environment as well. We have a number of Minnesota restaurants taking part in the second year of this blended burger project, and we're uh, happy to have Todd McDonald, the chef from Red Cow, yep. uh, with us. Uh, Todd, nice to see you this morning. Nice to see you too. So why did Red Cow decide to get involved? Well, first, let's tell people what a blended burger is. Okay, so what this one is is uh, certified Angus beef. It's blended with a, about 25% of a Marsala mushroom mix. Um, so that's where the magic is happening here. The idea is to sub out some of the beef. Yeah. Because some say that we're eating too much. Beef we are. We're eating in our too much. And it makes it a little more sustainable. And uh, the the inherent umami nature of the mushrooms really brings out kind of that uh, the the um, flavor of the beef. It is it's interesting, really isn't nice. it? Yeah. You can sub out the mushroom and you still get a nice flavor to mm -hmm. it. But You're eating a hearty burger. So. Yeah. I don't know that you miss the beef as much as you you might right. think you would. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the Blended Burger Project, this is something that's being put on by the J James Beard Foundation. Correct. And there are several restaurants throughout the country competing. You're coming up with your own version of a blended burger. How would you come up with this? Uh, well, we wanted to keep it pretty classic here. So what we have here is uh, our, our red cow bun, a little bit of garlic aioli, fontina cheese, and some crispy shallots have been tossed in just a little bit of white truffle oil. And you've had this on the menu now for a couple of weeks, right, at yep, Red Cow? Yep, almost a month. Yep. How's it going over? Really like well, it? really well. Yeah, people are, it's being really well received by our customers, so. James Beard Foundation trying to be more of a voice. You know, they're known for the awards, mm -hmm. the Beard Awards, but yep. they're trying to be more of a voice and getting the word out about, you know, sustainability and good policy and things like that. Do you see a time where maybe, maybe a consumer wouldn't mind if they ordered a burger and maybe maybe not 25% mushroom, but maybe 10% of yeah, it might I be mushroom? Yeah, I think so, and I think it's a nice accent. You know, the way that we cook, um, having those little flavors, the little spins that gives you something just slightly different, but a little more exciting. And I yeah. think that that's sort of what this project's bringing to this. And so people can come into the Red Cow and try one of your blended burgers and then go and vote? Yes. And what, what do the chefs who get the most votes get? Uh, well, I think the winner uh, gets a trip to the James Beard house to do oh. a special dinner. Fine. So Which is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Yeah. Is this something that you'd see uh, keeping on the menu afterwards? Um, yeah, possibly. We'll see. You know, we want to see it all said and done how how the the burgers received. Sure. And uh, you know, if it's something that we want to maintain support of, well, yeah, we, we would discuss that. It's up yeah. to the people. It is. If you it buy is. it, they'll keep it. That's how that goes. <laughs> yep. So uh, if you'd like to vote for Red Cow's Burger or search any of the Minnesota burgers in the Blended Burger Project, we have a link at WCCO.com slash links. We put it on our Facebook page as well. And you guys are going to be back in the next hour. And I, I, I'm hoping we're going to get to try this. Really, that's Ooh, my... Ooh, it that's smells <laughs> delicious. Keep talking about burgers. Oh, yeah. I have I have argued that this is the greatest time for burgers in the history of the Twin Cities. <laughs> it's hard to find. Well, I'm not going to say it's hard to find a bad one, but uh, there are There's so, so many, many good, good ones. ones. And the James Beard Foundation has started this project. It's the second year. It's called the Blended Burger Project. They're trying to improve burgers. We eat so many burgers. Todd McDonald, chef from Red Cow, with us here this morning. Americans love burgers. They do. But we eat so much beef, there is an impact on the environment from all of those cows that are being raised yep. for beef. So what the James Beard Foundation has done is the Blended Burger Project here. We're adding 25% uh, mushrooms hmm. to the burger. Um, just to up the flavor, it, it makes for a really nice, moist burger patty and it makes it a little more sustainable, less carbon footprint. Now, does it matter what kind of mushrooms you use? No, or I think it it's up to more? the chef. You know, okay. we use a blend of wild mushrooms, but uh, you know, every chef um, has been challenged with this project um, to take it in what direction they feel uh, lends itself best to the meat. So. And so how'd you come up with the blended burger that you're doing? Well, we're keeping it pretty simple here. We have a nice 25% blend here going with uh, certified Angus beef. We're adding a little bit of garlic aioli, uh, fontina cheese, and crispy shallots that have been tossed in a little bit of white truffle oil to accent the mushroom flavor. So I've tried a number of the blended burgers mm -hmm. from the Twin Cities area that are a part of this. And what I like about yours is that it just tastes like a great burger. <laughs> like it's not you, it's you, not showcasing the mushrooms. Right, right. right. It, it's really just a delicious. Well, I, I think we're trying to show that uh, you can have that sustainability 
without having to showcase the mushrooms yeah. so that you can actually really just replace that amount of meat and still have a great great tasting burger. And so this is on your menu right now. It is. And what's the feedback been for you? Have people been loving it? Yeah, they really do. Yep, yep. We're getting a lot of really good feedback on this. Um, it's one of our most popular burgers right now. So. And you can get it. Red Cow has a number of locations now. Yep. Of course, uh, you're in Edina. Mm -hmm. You're in St. Paul. Yep. North Loop. And, and the North Loop. And then Loop. down in the North Loop. Yep. Yeah. Very good. And uh, so people are encouraged to come in, get the blended burger, and then you vote, right? Correct. Yep. So there's a voting for the website. And the winning chef gets a trip to uh, New York City for a chance to cook at the James Beard House. Which is a huge honor it to is. cook there. And it a lot. Is. James Beard, of course, a lot of our viewers are familiar with the James Beard Award, mm -hmm. which goes to outstanding chefs and restaurants. Uh, so to be able to cook in the James Beard House is pretty cool. It is. And to have this message sent, you know, I tell you, just trying these, I am inspired to try it at home, you know, try to yeah. make my own burger with a little bit of mushroom and see how it goes. Yeah, it's pretty fun to play around with. There's a lot of ways you can take it. Definitely healthier, too. I mean, you could add more of the fried onions, right? If yes. you can if yes. you put in some yeah, mushrooms right. in your burger. <laughs> evens it out. All right, well, and the burgers are going to be available through the end of July. Correct. And go okay. vote. You go to the web. Vote. We have a link at WCCO.com slash links. You can vote for your favorite uh, burger, and Todd would appreciate your vote, I think, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's right. Come see us. Yeah, well, absolutely. thanks for coming in. We appreciate so thank it. Thank you very Good much. Good luck to you guys. Uh,